So welcome back. This was actually a really interesting day. A lot happened today. And one of the main reason was because of the US dollar index. So we decreased or have been declining for the last four days. And at this point, we are running into um, support around this area here. So this was or has been historically um, significant support all the way back to August, beginning of August. This has been a problem for the US dollar index. Whether or not we break through here, um, that is to be seen tomorrow. If that happens, then we most likely will go to these lows at, uh, at 92.11.11. 11, sorry, or these lows of 91.71. So these are areas of significant support historically. Um, if you look at the four hour chart, we can see that we are oversold at this point. So there is a reason why we stopped here. We had a massive fall towards support. And at this moment, we are at the edge of being oversold. So it won't go significantly lower. It may go uh, down to uh, 27, 25 or something like that before it turns around. Um, these indicators are already turning around in the four hour chart. We need the MACD to basically turn around and then it will head towards the 50 moving average around uh, 93.50. Um, so when that happens, uh, for example, gold, it will fall like a rock. Most of the indices that have been rallying the last two days or four, four days will also fall like rocks and most of the tech stocks and so on. So um, this is a very good chart to look at for the four hour chart for the USD dollar. Um, also, there's pure speculation of um, additional stimulus, um, but we'll get to that when we get to oil. Let's start by looking at that. So we are you uh, daily first. So the reason for this rally here, uh, at least the last two days, or these days here, is because we expect additional stimulus. However, we have had three stimulus within this period here, and nothing has happened. So if we get another stimulus, th that won't affect this market that much. Uh, we are running into uh, resistance here, as we did expect. There are two major resistance areas above at the uh, 41.6 area and the very highs here at 43.7. Um, I bought uh, sold into the market here. Uh, it may go a little bit higher. I may change also my stop loss if we go significantly higher because I don't think we are rallying all the way up to these areas. There's just not that demand in the world economy at the moment for a major rally in, in oil. If we have a war in the Middle East or something like that, then yes, but now that is not going to be the case. Major storms, for example, it will rally for three days or something like that, like we saw here and over here, but then it will fall just as quickly. Trend is basically, we're basically in a downtrend at this point. So it's still a matter of time before we fall towards the 20 moving and 200 moving average. We'll pull back from there and then we'll break further down. This is our, could basically leave the market here, which will be a significant support. We can also leave the market or where I'm targeting is around here at $33. So the very lows here. But I do expect us to go lower. I think we go down to $30 in the long run. Technical indicators, they are looking weaker, especially the RSI is showing sign of weakness. The same goes for the, for the CCI, the same goes for the stochastic. And we can also look at the four hour chart and we can see that we have run into major uh, resistance here at the uh, 200 moving average. And we are basically turning around at this point, And so are all of the indicators. So this should be a warning for everybody that basically want to buy this at the moment. Uh, I'm not saying that we won't rally a little bit above this, but these indicators here are showing signs of weakness. And it will be interesting tomorrow how far we will fall. My guess is down towards this um, the 50 moving average at uh, 37 first. If that breaks, then we are going much lower in gold.
So natural gas is our uh, next uh, here. We need to look at the daily first. So we are, or this is doing exactly what we anticipated it to do. So we will run into uh, support here at this trend line. And if you look at the four hour chart, the, we are already running into um, support at the 200 moving average at the four hour chart. But the technical indicators for this are not good enough at this point. And the only one is good is basically the RSI. It's oversold at the four hour chart, but we need these indicators to turn around and quite significantly. They are still very bearish. It probably means that we are going towards this uh, this uh, trend line here and break the 200 moving average in the tier four hour chart. But this is definitely a buying opportunity that we're waiting for for several, several uh, weeks now, basically all the way back here. We were waiting for this pullback and now it's here. Uh, if we break through, the 50 moving average will be uh, support. A breakthrough to that, well, that is not expected for this market. But definitely a stop loss has to be added underneath here in order to minimize risk. So if you look at copper, I just want to jump over this because it is a market that at the moment is completely hopeless to trade. Um, we have a highs here of 3.2 and we have probably a range here at these lows here at 2.8. We need to break the 50 moving average, which is expected. Technical indicators are all over the place. This is a market I'm staying far, far away from. If we get all the way rally up towards this area here, then yes, there's a probable uh, chance that I'll start shorting this. But at the moment, I'm just staying far away from copper. So gold did not do what I thought it would do. This was, of course, a, a possibility, but I did think that copper, that gold would um, would decline towards 1800. But now we are going to test this area, and we are testing it already. So we were in this area here for several months, not several months, yeah, nearly nearly two months. We were in this area here. If we manage to break that, we go to 2000, and if we break 2000, then we go to 2000 and and 100 and beyond. One of the main reasons for this is the US dollar index. Um, so, and also that we are going to have a new president that's going to spend a lot of money. Uh, we're going to have a Federal Reserve that's going to do flood the markets with liquidity, try to get things back going again, like we did back in 2009. Uh, so, uh, yes, it is possible that we break through here. Um, I would not guarantee that, but it is possible. We are getting quite overstretched. We are at 62 at the moment. I would favor a basically a break to the downside. If we see the US dollar index appreciating significantly, then heads up, this will fall significantly as well. So if you look at silver, we can see that we have rallied also above the 50 moving average at the moment. We are going to test this area here, and this is quite a lot to get through. Um, I don't expect that we have enough room on, in the RSI in order to get through this area without a pullback. Um, and we, I don't expect the US dollar to completely fall apart, which is technically needed in order to get through this area. So we may see a pullback. But if we see a green candlestick above here, that means that we are going to test this area. And uh, that is going to be one, uh, uh, yeah, a, a big test to be fairly honest. But a break above this opens the door to these very highs of, at 92 or 30, uh, 30 dollars. Uh, break below here opens the door to uh, 22 dollars and then to 21 and then down to 20, which is what basically I prefer to happen because that would be a, a very good opportunity to buy this. So if you look at Cocoa, this is still a market that I'm staying far away from. We are rallying today, and that means that we're heading towards the 200 moving average and the 50 moving average. It is just too risky to enter this market at this point. Uh, we are 
to be fairly honest, in the middle of nowhere, and uh, this market doesn't really know where to go. So we're trading in the highs here of 2.7 and 2.0, and these are basically the points where I'm interested in, in, in basically entering this market. Very lows or very highs in order to maximize profit and to minimize risk, because the probability of a decrease at this level is far, far, far better than at any other point here. Um, so, and the same goes for this barrier. The, the probability of an increase in this area here is far better than, for example, here. So, I'm not interested in basically buying this. Um, I would not. I would not ask anybody else to basically buy into this, even though we have massive rallies and blah blah. It's just too risky to enter this market. So, platinum has broken to the upside, which was quote completely anticipated. We have a lot of support underneath this area here. I didn't expect this area to basically be tested even. We tried several times to break down. It didn't matter. It mattered. We basically broke to the upside. If we manage to get a green candlestick above here, that means that we are going to test these, uh, these highs. First of all, not just at that area, we'll test this area first, which is that uh, 942 area, and then towards this 980, and then to 1000. Um, this is a possible buy-in with a stop loss underneath here, uh, underneath the 50 moving average, but bear in mind, we have tested this before. For example, for only three weeks ago, this same thing happened, and then we basically fell apart to the downside. I imagine if the US dollar index starts appreciating again, this will do the very similar thing and break below the 50 and head towards the 200 area. So if we look at sugar, no. So this is a possible, uh, a fairly good trade to do. We have a trend line here. So quite far away from the 50 moving average, but a possible break towards the 50 moving average, we are far away right now, is a possible buy for this market. It just it has started to to um, decrease, and then you can see the last time we it decreased, it, uh, decreased, we fell all the way down towards this trend line. And if that happens again, if we get towards this trend line, that that is an amazing. Uh, opportunity to basically enter this market. To be very exact, I would like to enter right there. So this would, around this area here, so 0 0.1318. And that would coincide with this being support as well. So we would break the 50 moving average, we would head towards uh, something similar to this there, and then take off. And the target would be the very highs here. So with a stop loss right underneath. Um, that is basically what I anticipate. So we have been doing this and then I'm mean, expecting us to do something similar to that and then head towards these highs. Whether or not that breaks or not, that's really doesn't really matter. This is the less, li least risky, riskiest place to enter the market and you get maximum profit by entering the market here. As you can see, technical indicators are very bearish at this point. That means that we have a long way to go. This probably take a week, week and a half in order to get down there. Um, and we'll definitely find uh, support here at 0 0.13, uh, 20, no, 95. So this is a possible buy, but I'm not interested in basically selling this because I buy at major support or major resistant. So we look at wheat. We can see that um, this was an absolutely horrible, horrible trade, to be very honest. I didn't trade this, but but for those people that entered around here um, or uh, up here, then this was, they had a very bad day. Uh, hopefully nobody on the channel did that, uh, but there is still hope because I do believe that we are going down towards this uh, line here and then we'll bounce from this line. Uh, that only means that you just have to hold on to a, a massive amount of red uh, numbers for 
a few trading days. So technical indicators for this are turning around. So there is room here to the upside. If we may rally from here. It doesn't mean that we are going completely down towards the this trend line, but this would be the absolute best place to enter a trade. To be very specific, right here, there, at 588, because this area here will act as support, and that coincides with this trend line as well. So, and we also have the 50 moving average underneath. So, if this falls towards this area here at 588, and that is a possible buy-in, and we'll have a stop loss right underneath. The target for this market would be the very highest here of 637. Um, so, yes, that is basically what I see in the commodities market at this point. So, hope you find this helpful. Good luck and uh, thank you very much. Thank you.